used to. He said, no, I'm going to push you out. I'm going to push you out of the nest. Thank and sometimes Lord. when you're being pushed out of this nest, I want to tell you, sometimes you feel like you're falling. That little baby eagle falls and falls. All of a sudden, they begin to flap their wings. <laughs> and they begin to know they can fly. And God says, I'm going to push you out of your nest. I'm going to make my people so uncomfortable. I don't know about you, but God pushed me and Joyce into a very uncomfortable zone. Amen. And in an uncomfortable zone is where you can come into his divine zone. You know what I'm saying? He said, too many of my people are on this side of the... The, the timeline is like when you're going to the Pensacola. At some point, the time changes up. Right. How many would agree it's time for your time to change up? Yeah. It's time for you to move into the next dimension. Yeah. I don't mean next level even, but next dimension of God's glorious grace yeah. where the power of God will come down and manifest himself so much. Hallelujah. Hearing that sound. You see, when God spoke to me, of course, he added something else. I haven't seen that part. I had no idea what he meant by the other part, but what, I, what God said, you hear the sound before you feel the rain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like an echo. Mm-hmm. It's like an echo. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The drought is over. Yeah. Now, if your drought is not over, I, I can't help you unless you hear the word of God. Mm-hmm. He said to me, the drought is over. Go. Thank you, Lord. The trap is over. Amen. I went to the post office, and there were no checks. That's our that's our tithe that often comes, not tithe that often comes. It's in the, it's in the mailbox. They weren't up from there. Now, that's what God does to you, gentlemen. He says, the drop's over, and you go look where it should be, and it's not there. <laughs> now, how many can understand? I'm preaching you about the drop's over. He says, oh, that's great. Your drop's over, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, we're looking, and we're looking for but then all of a sudden, I, didn't, I said, what happened? And then the next week, these people that were normally at a certain time come in later. Fine, they came in. And I was sitting in front of them, and he said, y'all need a van to drive. He's a doctor. I said, praise God. He said, my father-in-law's got a van, and he's getting too old, and we've we, got to take stuff away from him. And if again, we'll get that van, and we're going to give it to you. Now, I want to tell you, that makes my friends start jumping. Hey, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was driving a truck there. Me and my wife were trying to be debt-free. I'd rather be that way. I'm not trying to impress you. I got a truck 12 years old. Her car is 14 years old. Amen? Amen. Yeah. I'm not going to get a Cadillac to impress you. Maybe make it us. <laughs> <laughs> if you see me, if I ever come back here again, I'm driving something new. It's because God gave it. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Thank Whether you. I have a little problem proving this man, you know, anyhow, what I'm saying is, God says the drought is over. Now, do you believe it? Not? Yes. That could be a sickness. That yes. could be health. That yes. could be money. Yes. That could be a relationship. Yes. That could yes. be anything. But you got to believe it. Yes. 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 Amen. This drought is over. Amen. Yes. Yes. This drought is over. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. This drought is over. Yeah. Yeah. Hear the sound. Yeah. Listen to Psalms 89, 15. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound that shall walk the Lord in the light of thy countenance. Blessed are the people that hear the sound. And hear the sound. This this pastor we're going to next week about a month ago. He's one of our churches. We went there. And his, his wife had died three months ago, and she was the main, probably the main, seemed like the main uh, the apostle ministry of the church. And I went there, and he he acknowledged who we were, but you know, he, and he was glad we were there. And the Lord said, "You got a word." Now I'm in a church I've never been in. And I walked up to the platform and said, Pastor, i got a word for you. He said, well, you got that. He said, after I said it, if you said that before, I might have thought it might have I walked up there and laid my hand on his chest and began for about 10 minutes like his prophesied stuff. And he began to cry and weep and pull me closer to him. He said, Brother, you heard the sound. He said, you had a word for me, but you've got a word for my house. We're going there next week. He said, you've got a word. You see, there must be a word for the house. Yeah. I don't just want to go preach. Preach. Right. 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 Sermon? No. Do I have a word for the house? A word for the people to sit here. You might not belong to this house every Sunday, but do I have a word for the people to sit in here? But come in here. I have a word for this house. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Then in the next seven weeks, something really radical should be taking place. Change should be taking place. Hallelujah. The people are here. Amen. And see, there's kind of this. There's a sound. There's a rumble. A rumble. A rumble going on. How many of the rumble is the only thing that's going to rumble a fight? A fight. A fight going on. There's a rumble. 
the rumble is a sound of jubilee. You see, God knows uh, that this is the jubilee season. I am not talking about the 50 years. I'm talking about jubilee season in your spirit, in your heart. Do you believe that that type of a thing has happened? A time to set free. So God says, I'm going to set my people free. Well, back in the book of Exodus, in the discourse went with Moses and Esquire, and Moses and Pharaoh, and Moses repeatedly, that God said, let my people go. At one point, Moses Pharaoh said, you can go, but how far are you going to go? You don't know how far we're going to go with this thing. God says, we're going all the way. Oh, God, I'm a You're not hearing what I'm saying. Oh, this is like, right, right. I'm coming saying I know it. But for teenagers, when they years years ago, they said, if you love me, you'll go all the way. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. God is waiting. If you love me, you'll go all the way. If you love me, Things that people want to hear. Yeah. God is very serious about that. 